Octopus V2 is an on-device language model for a super agent. Octopus V2 2 billion parameter model is an advanced open source language model with 2 billion parameters representing Nexa AI's research breakthrough in the application of LLMs for function calling specifically for Android APIs. Unlike retrieval augmented generation methods which require detailed description of potential function arguments sometimes needing up to tens of thousands of input tokens octopus v22 billion introduces a unique functional token strategy for both its training and inference stages this approach not only allows it to achieve performance level comparable to gpt4 but also significantly enhances its inference speed beyond that of rag based methods making it specially beneficial for edge computing devices octopus v22 billion is designed to operate seamlessly on android devices extending its utility across a wide range of application from android system management to the orchestration of multiple devices nexa ai is a company behind it and on their research base you can find a lot of other capabilities and other examples Also some benchmarking information is available on this hugging face model card of this octopus v22 billion model and i will drop the link to it in video's description these benchmarks overall demonstrate a remarkable inference speed outperforming the combination of llama 7 billion plus rag solution by a factor of 36 times on a single a100 gpu also when compared to gpt4 turbo which relies on cluster a100 and h100 gpus octopus is 168 times faster and this is all due to their functional token design which i mentioned above it is quite an accurate uh, model too as per the benchmarks octopus v22 boolean is capable of generating individual nested and parallel function calls across a variety of complex scenarios In this video I will show you how you can get it locally installed and then of course you can port it to any edge device and do the function calling. So let's get started. I will be using my Ubuntu system for this installation and my Ubuntu is 22.04. I have one GPU card of 16 GB of VRAM and my memory is 32 GB. So let's get started. Let me clear my screen. and then let me launch my python interpreter if you don't have it then make sure that you install the transformers library transformers and torch plus flash attention so once you have them you should be able to launch your python interpreter now once the python interpreter is launched let's first import some of the prerequisites modules and i had to fix a lot of things to get this working uh, took me around 4 hours so but these instructions work thankfully so we are importing this gemma for causal lm and auto tokenizer and by the way this octopus is a fine tune of gemma uh, model which is from google let's also import the torch and time library next let's specify model id which is octopus v2 from nexa ai and then now let's specify our tokenizer that is done and now let's download our model and as i'm using gpu so i have the device will be uh, cuda here it is a bit quick because i already have downloaded it it has just loaded the shards on the gpu let's give it a input text let's give it a nexa query which is basically a template where we are telling it that below is a query from the user please call the correct function and generate the parameters to call the function and user query is take a selfie for me with front camera now let's pass it to our model with the input ids and we are passing to tokenizer to tokenize it let's generate the output from the model on the basis of this input let's wait for it to come back 
and you can see that how quick that is the so latency is quite low even when I'm using my commodity GPU let's get the response and then let's print it out there you go so you have your function and if you look at the function so this is a function declaration that take a photo and then parameter is camera with the comments and also the uh, it has given the detail about it and then it is returning this string and also it has even given as an example there how good is that so this is how it uh, basically converts this uh, whole query the natural language processing query into the function calling i have cleared the screen let's try out one more example now in this example i'm asking it play any song from my music playlist let's send this input id to the tokenizer and then to the model wait for the model to come back and then we will print out the result and you can see how quick that is there you go so this function play music on nest hub music service music name and then it is returning it out how good is that so this is how easy it is with the help of this model to do the function calling and now let's check out another example let's check the weather so let me send it the input query so i'm asking it get the weather in sydney let's see and then let's pass it to the model and print out the result There you go so it has now given us a get weather forecast with the location and then all the parameters the synopsis of the function and then list of string so that's it guys this is what the beauty of octopus is let me show you a few more examples from their model card so you can see that you can do something like create calendar reminder for team meeting or as we just saw that you can also check out the weather and it will create the function and once it is on your device it will go in and check out the weather for you and it can call the function so basically you are creating an ai agent on your phone similarly you can search on youtube for or any other website for that matter and as we already know that various other lang language models have shown effectiveness in a variety of software applications particularly in the tasks related to automatic workflow and all of these models possess the crucial ability to call functions which is essential in creating ai agents but despite the um, high performance of large-scale llms in cloud environments they are often associated with concerns over privacy and cost current on-device models for function calling face issues with latency and accuracy but this octopus model is a new method that empowers an on-device model with 2 billion parameters to surpass the performance of even GPT-4 in both accuracy and latency and it also decreases the context length by 95% which is amazing. Anyway, I will drop the link to its model card in video description. You can check its archive paper, you can check its video demo and a lot of other things are present on this demo card. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you are already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.